I'm going to show you how to add a neckband in. I've cut out the neckband for the desired length and width and I've sewn up the um, side seam. I've then folded it in half and just snipped the halfway point, not all the way through to the edge end stitch and then when you fold your neckband together just pop your seams in the opposite direction not the easiest to see on this one because it is black okay and then pop a pin in there and now we're going to find our halfway points and our quarter points so if you put the um, raw edges together and then I'm just going to pull it apart so I've got that where I put one pin in there and then that's the um, halfway point. So I'm not stretching it at all, just making sure that they're nice and even. Okay. And then do the same for the quarter points. You can lay it down on the table if that's easier. Just to make sure that these raw edges are lined up first. A little bit fiddly, but oops, doable. quarter points now and then I'm popping a pin in there and there that side over. okay so that's my neck band um, equally divided up and now we've got to do the same for the um, neckline your this is a raglan and sometimes you just have the two shoulder seams if you're going for a normal sleeve but the front is always longer than the back so what you don't want to do is just fold it like this and do halfway halfway point and then fold it nicely like that that's not gonna um, make a nice even neckband i always try and um, firstly figure out where i'm going to put the join of my um, neckband I always try and do it just off a little bit to the back of the seam and the same if I'm doing one where it's just the shoulder seams that we, we've sewn together. I always just put it off just slightly and I'm going to put a pin in there. Okay, so that's where my neckband's going to go. Now, what I'm going to do is now open up my neckband like that so that it's nice and flat. See how I've done that? So I've just popped the two seams together and then just folded it nice and flat okay and then where the fold natural fold has gone on the other side I'm going to pop a pin in there and the same as what I did with the other neckband I'm going to pop those two points together and then you should get your halfway points okay so they're always just off of the shoulders there and the same on the other side just matching those lines up so that they're straight okay so now that i've done that figure out which is your front and back again now i'm going to take my neck band and i'm just going to match up those quarter points now and I place the neckband over the top you can have your item the other way around as long as you're placing your neckband right sides facing so I'm just matching the pins taking one out and putting the other one back in matching my pins and going through both bits of fabric and just matching up my raw edges. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to take it to the machine. I've got a serger, so I'm going to use that. You can use just a normal zigzag on your sewing machine, it's absolutely fine. And as you can see here, the neck band is just that little bit smaller than my t-shirt so I'm, when i'm sewing i'm just going to stretch it slightly so that they both lay flat and that's the trick you don't want to stretch it so that they're both stretched like that because you'll end up with a baggy neckline you're just wanting to do it so that they both 
make a lot like that. I'll show you how we do that now. So I'm at my serger here now. I've lifted my presser foot. I've got my threads here and I'm just going to pull them slightly so that they're straight. And this means that I can put my neckline in nice and straight up against the blade. I'm going to start near the back um, seam, but I'm not going to start on that seam. I'm just going to pop it in there and then put my needles down. So as you can see here, I've got a little bit of loose fabric. So that's the t-shirt. It's obviously smaller and um, bigger than the rib, sorry. So I'm just going to stretch it slightly like that. I'm just making sure that my seams all match up nicely. And that's all I'm going to do is just stretch it that tiny little bit and then start sewing. Stop when I get to my pin. And again, now just readjust. And just make sure that that top fabric is straight and flat. It's all just about readjusting as you go, nice and slowly, there's no rush. They're not as easy to see with the black. So I'm coming back to where I started. I'm just going to go over the join and that might be, it's a tiny little bit bulky. So you might just need to put your finger here on the left hand side and just help it through a little bit. Okay, so I'm coming back to where I started. I'm going to carry on sewing just a little bit over and then I'm going to pull my fabric to the left slightly so that it doesn't get cut by the blade. I'll see if I can do that. Okay, now pull to the left a little bit, carry on sewing. I'm going to put my needle in the down position and then I'm going to lift my presser foot up slightly and then pull my fabric out while I'm while I've got my foot on the pedal. Okay. Okay. So there's the um finished neckband. See, if I fold it out. How lovely and flat that neckband sits. No stretching, just lovely and flat. Okay, so to finish off the threads, um, just take the needle and thread the thread back through the middle of your um, stitches and then chop it off and that's it. And there you go.